Yes, I was. Wayne, I still say to this day, that's the best relationship I've ever been in with certain things. Um, we would still beef about how much we make. Because I, I always, I'm like, yeah, nigga, I make more than you. Like, I, I let him be on this house for a while. And, and, and Wayne is so competitive. I'm like, okay. And, and for, at first it was cool. It was cute. I'm like, okay, I got a nigga that's like, okay, challenging. All right, cool. We wanted to go on tour together. It was going to be called Best of Both Worlds. You know, he's a clean comic. I'm dirty. I'm raw. I'm, I'm Baltimore. I'm, he's church. He's Bill Cosby. Well, before the charges, you know? I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm old Monique, Bertie Mac, every harsh commit, Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor I, I would yeah, say anything. I say this nigga was like, all right, we can co headline a tour. You do, you do, you headline, I headline. I'm like, okay, cool. He like, but I gotta get X amount. I'm like, why? He's just like, just for one, I'm the man. And, and then two is, you're my woman. No, that's not what we're doing. Because you see, I sell out shows. I put asses in seats. I could, if, if, I could see if I was just starting out. I could see if I wasn't Jess. I'm Jess. Shows that you don't sell out, I sell out. And he sells out. But what the fuck are we talking about? We're going to do 50-50 or it ain't nothing. He couldn't deal with that. Mm. No. And also this nigga was like, yo, and I love him to death. Still, we're still good friends. This nigga was like, he know I say this. He was like, um, well, in a few years, I don't even want you to be touring and doing. I want you to be, you want me to do what? Stay home. And you want to take care of me. That sounds great to a certain type of female. Mm. I'm a worker. I'm going to always work. I don't even know what the fuck retirement even going to look like because I ain't going to ever do it. Nigga, if I could, I would be a hundred on stage because that's what I love. That's what I want to do. I'd be a hundred on stage talking about myself, still making motherfuckers laugh. No teeth, all dentures, <laughs> all the nigga. I, I'm going to do it. I'm not, I'm a worker. And I still would love to be a wife. I want to have more kids. I still, I still want, I need, I, this is why I, I need for someone to understand that. Like, it's okay. I, it's okay. It's okay for me to be a successful businesswoman and still be a housewife. I can still do that. I'm not going to ever sit down. Not for no man. I don't give a fuck how much you make. You can make more than me. I'm not going to rely on your money. I have to rely on mine. And maybe I got to get better with that. Man, I, I cannot let nobody take care of me. Because then they hold it over your head, Jay. I just, I've been in so many situations where it's like, yo, a nigga will do this for me. After I did this for them. I never throw in your face this. But you're going to throw in my face this? Shut your goofy ass out of here. You know, um. I hate that. Nah, it's, it's unfortunate because you know, I've been in a relationship for five years and like I've seen some of like my flaws I had to look in the mirror. And um, it's unfortunate because like we, and that's like I try to get away from the uh, relationship talk because yeah, all okay. it is nowadays is like a constant blame or who's who's the blame. Yeah. Right? I, yeah. But hearing you talk, mm -hmm. just I'm going to hold accountable for the men. I think it's hard to love somebody else in general when you don't know how to love yourself, right? I know it sounds cliche, but mm -mm. I'm unable to love you with you being able to make more than me, be the breadwinner, make all this money, go on the road, not be a housewife. I can't love you because I can't love you to, to the full capacity of my love because I don't love myself. And what does that look like? I can't accept that, not because I don't want to accept it, because the world don't accept it, mm -hmm. right? Because what we hear, we, we see so much. I had to get over this. I'm not going to lie. We hear the conversation of 50-50 rent, right? Mm -hmm. It makes a man feel bad because everybody is talking about it in a negative way. Yeah. So because I don't have the love enough for myself, it's like reading the comments, like you said. Yeah. I just You said, I just started to not be able to read the comments because that's just. a love that you have for yourself yeah. to understand. It's, no, it's, no, it's nothing nobody can say here 
that's going to change who I am. Mm -hmm. Same with who we are as people. Mm -hmm. I can't love that about you because I see it online that if a woman makes more than me, that I'm less of a man. If I love myself, I understand that what makes me a man is what I do for my family and how I right. how my how I'm able to love you. Mm -hmm. Because at the at the end of the day, we are different. Yeah. And if what makes you happy, if if something makes you happy, it's supposed to make me happy and it's supposed to make us happy. Yeah. But it's easy I can say that it's hard. Like it's easier said than done because I'm just like we we humans. Yeah. And we live in this reality. But I do want to I want to see a point where you can be loved, so you can give somebody your full capacity love. Right. I want to mm -hmm. be able to love a woman where yeah. I can untap her full capacity. You can untap my full capacity. But yeah. again, what happens is that trauma, right? The shit that we saw when you was loving somebody, when you was giving, yeah, and somebody threw it in your face. Did you ever go get? Did you ever get therapy for that, or did you think about it? No, and to be honest with you, that's one thing I'm gonna be very open with you about. Yo, like a lot of us try to self counsel. <laughs> mm -mm. 